everybody this is Michelle Fox and welcome back to the simple quilter today I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be working on over the next few days my husband and I are getting ready to take a fishing camping trip and so I'm getting my stuff ready to take so that I'll have something to work on in the evenings and like I said in my other video on camping if I wake up early in the morning really early in the morning like I do frequently I'll be sewing then now I I do want to tell you when I go on a quilt retreat or if I'm preparing to go camping and I'm gonna do some quilting while in the camper I really do take some time to plan ahead and that's what I'm gonna be showing you today um, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what I'll be taking and what I'll be working on now one thing I do not do when I quilt in the camper is I do not take a big cutting mat I don't take a big ruler and I don't do big cutting while I'm there all my stuff is pre-cut so that's one of the things I'll be showing you that I'm working on today and I do kind of keep it streamlined now we're going to be gone for several days so I am going to be preparing quite a bit so let's get started and I'll show you what I'll be taking. Okay, so one of the things that I'll be working on uh, is the ragtime quilts. Uh, if you remember in the video on budgeting quilting, I'll put a link up there so you can see this fabric, but I bought a ton of flannel from a collection called Snow is Falling. And I just love this fabric and I plan to make at least five ragtime quilts with it so I am working on cutting it into the nine inch squares and I'll be taking these with me and one thing I will do while I'm there is I will be marking the X's on them so I'll be taking this little paper uh, this little gadget that I made as well as a ruler a small ruler my pen and my pencil and I'll just be marking the lines in the camper and I have plenty of room to do that I can do that either standing at my little table where I do my pressing or I can do that while I'm sitting down and I have a lot of those to mark I'll also be cutting batting and I'll be layering these and I'll be putting them in a bag and I'll take those with me so I can just sew the X's now I thought about using the um, cluck cluck sew seam tape but the plate on my or the base on my um, sewing machine isn't big enough to accommodate that and the table's not big enough to put a big extension on there so I'll just be drawing the lines and so that's one project I'll be working on now I won't be taking the bolts of fabric I'll just be taking the squares of fabric okay another project I'll be taking is this little pinwheel table topper that I'll be doing and this will be an easy project to work on I can put it all on the table that I showed you in my camper video and then I just have all the half square triangles put right into here so all I have to do is toss this little container in the bag and that's all ready to go so that's not going to take up a great deal of space and I won't take the design board I just put that there so I could show you how I'll be laying that out okay the next thing I will be getting ready to take are um, these fabrics for an upcoming panel quilt and this is the panel You've, you all have seen this before but I'm going to be working on doing uh, half square triangles with this anyway that's what I'm thinking of doing anyway uh, these colors are all grunge fabrics and I'll be pairing those up with this tan to make half square triangles these are four and a, these will be four inch finished and uh, I'm hoping to use those to work on this panel quilt and hopefully I'll be showing you those but what I'll do before I go I'll pair these up and I'll pin them and then all I have to do is do the sewing in the camper now I could uh, go ahead and take this little 
cutting mat here and cut these apart if I'd like. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. I may just do the sewing. But uh, anyway, that's the other project I'll be taking to work on. Okay, so as if all that sewing wasn't enough, I am going to take just a couple of other things. I, I have to be prepared, right? Okay, so I'm going to take two quilt magazines that I haven't read yet. And then, um, just in case I don't feel like sewing or looking at magazines, I have downloaded some quilt mystery, quilt murder mystery books on my iPad. So I'll be taking that too. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, hit that like button. Share with a friend if you haven't. Subscribe if you haven't. And as always, leave a comment. I love to get the comments. And I do try to respond to each and every one. Until next time, have fun quilting.